What is up guys, my name is Solheim and if you're new around here, I am a World of Warcraft player with a particular interest in gold making. And if you've been around for a while, welcome back. So today we are taking a look at a very good gold farm where you're basically hitting 3 birds with 1 stone, and you can pretty much farm 3 different primals in one location. And no, we are not talking about the elemental plateau in the Grand, but we are indeed in the Grand. So the farm itself takes place at the Oshu Gun, southwest in the Grand. Over here you will find tons of shadow elementals around the Oshu Gun itself, and you can also find earth elementals in the mountains of either side of the Oshu Gun. I have no idea how to pronounce that, but I'm trying. You will also find the elementals spread out across the entire Oshu Gun, a little bit on the outside. The air elementals will be found all the way around the crystal, both on the northern side, eastern side, and southern side. Actually, no, it's the western side, northern side, and southern side. I don't think I've seen one on the eastern side, but I've been but doing full laps around the entire Oshigun is probably your best bet here. So what I do is I just run laps around the Oshigun and a little bit on the outer circle while farming so I can see if I can spot any air elementals while also tagging every single shadow elemental that I see. The shadow elementals will drop some raw silver as well as nether weave cloth and modes of shadow which you can combine into primal shadow. By doing this farm you will make gold in several different ways. First of all there's the raw looted silver which actually gave me 20 gold per hour in raw looted silver then there's the Vendor Gold, which gave me 32 gold per hour in raw Vendor Gold as well. Then there's the Primals, and then there's the Netherweave Cloth, and then there's the Oshigun Crystal Powder, which you can turn in with a repeatable quest that actually gives you roughly 3 gold per 20 Oshigun Crystal Powder. I will go through all of my results from 1 hour of farming a little later in this video, but for now I just wanted you guys to know that you're actually getting or you're making a lot of gold from this and you're getting several different things that make up your total gold per hour so it's not a one trick pony and you're not putting all of your eggs into one basket. The farm itself is in the grand and the mobs are between level 65 and 66 so you probably want to level up a couple of levels before going here but like any other primal farm in TBC once people get to level 70 this place is probably going to be crowded with people farming primals, so try to take advantage of it while you can, and push yourself to get yourself here as fast as possible, when TBC actually comes out, and if you end up getting ahead of the curve, you can enjoy farming at this place with less competition than usual, but I'm telling you, this place will have a ton of competition, and if you're not farming, or if you're not ahead of the curve and you're planning to level at a semi-passive or semi-casual pace, you better prepare yourself for some competition at pretty much every single primal farm location out there. I guess I should have said this already as well, but I have uploaded a video on a primal water gold farm in Terukar Forest, as well as a primal life gold farm in Sangarmarsh, and another primal shadow gold farm in Hellfire Peninsula, all of which are lower level gold farms that you can do the second you step through the dark portal, just in case you want to farm gold while leveling, and I will leave links to those primal gold farms in the description of this video. I've also made a video on primal fire and primal earth gold farming in Shadowmoon Valley, but that one is a little bit higher level, but I will leave a link to that one as well. So I guess for the only primal farm that I haven't covered yet is primal mana, unless I'm being stupid and forgetting about some primal, but that should come out soon as well. But let's get back to the farm and talk about some results that I got from farming here for one hour. Uh, but before we do that, I also want to let you guys know that I've managed to secure you guys a 50% off code on what I think is the best gold making guide for TBC Classic, which you can find a link to in the description and the pinned comment. So far, this gold making guide has 80 pages of pure gold making information, it is incredibly in depth, and by purchasing the guide you will also get all of the updates for free, as a student will keep improving and updating the guide before TBC comes out and during TBC as well. So if you want a guide that shows you everything you need to know about gold farming and gold making, go check it out to the link in the description, and use code SOLHEIM at checkout to save 50%.
So let's talk about the results. Before I started farming, I had 2,172 gold in my banks. And after farming, I was sitting on 2,192 gold before vendoring anything. Meaning that I got 20 gold in pure looted gold from the mobs themselves. I also got 26 Oshigun Crystal Powder. And if your faction controls Hala, you can turn in 20 of those powders in for a Hala token, Hala research token, as well as 2 gold and 90 silver. So add 2 gold and 90 silver to that as well. Vendoring the trash items as well as greens I got from farming also gave me 32 gold. So in total I got 54 gold and 90 silver in raw gold from 1 hour of farming these elementals. I also received 8 full stacks of netherweave cloth, which results in 160 netherweave cloth in total, as well as 5 primal shadows and 8 modes of shadow, as well as 6 modes of earth and 1 primal air. It's pretty difficult to determine a gold per hour from this farm, especially from this farm itself, simply because you have so many different primals that you can farm for, and you can focus farm whichever primal you want. What I will tell you is that by running circles close to the Oshigun, you will find mostly primal shadows, and by doing a bit wider circles, aka running a bit on the outside, you will find those air elementals that will give you primal air, and by being in the mountains on either side of the Oshigun, you will find earth elementals that will give you primal earth. Primal air will probably be the most profitable for primal from this farm, but they are also quite few and spread around the entire place, so doing circles around the place and actively searching or actively pulling the shadow elementals until you find some air elementals might be the way to go, and that is the way I did the farm myself. From these results I actually think this farm is looking really really good, and with there being so many really good primal farm alternatives out there, I don't think this specific one is going to be overly farmed, maybe the earth elementals will be camped, but the shadow elementals should be fairly easy to farm, and even with that raw gold and netherweave cloth as well, also the primal shadows, I actually think it's pretty decent even if you only farm the shadow elementals, but the fact that you can grab an air elemental or two, and also go for earth elementals all in one location, just makes the farm so much better in my opinion. If you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like and also make sure to subscribe to the channel for more TBC gold making content. I do also want to say that I have a Patreon where you can support me directly and also get access to even more gold making information. I did this in Classic WoW as well where I share my investments on Patreon before I make YouTube videos about them so you guys can take advantage of them before prices get pumped, and I also try to give you some Patreon specific investments and gold making advice as well, so if you want to support me directly and get even more gold making advice, you can check out my Patreon through the link in the description. As always, if there's any specific farm you want me to test out on the TBC beta, so you can see the results from 1 hour or 2 hours of farming, let me know in the comments, and with that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you again very soon.